what's up guys how are you doing i hope you are having a good day this is the first time i've picked up the camera since i came home from seeing steve mainly because i've worked every day since and also i've just been in a real shitty mood all week due to not getting a great night's sleep but i don't really want to focus on that today me joe and mom are heading to plymouth they are not in the car with me right now they've headed into the service station so i thought i'd sit here and start this vlog but why am i starting in the car and not home as usual well we left pretty fucking early so i kind of thought i'll sleep in the car a bit so i thought while well, we stopped i may as well uh intro this vlog but anyway we are heading up there today because joe's got to go up there for something to do with university anyway me and mum kind of thought we'd drive up there and tag along uh because basically other than this hoodie I didn't really get to buy anything in Southampton and I really wanted to go spend my money. So that's what we're doing today. So I'll come back to you guys in Plymouth. 12 seconds later. Another expensive ass fucking day. I'm gonna go broke soon. So while me and mum have been out, you know, selling our kidneys to fund what we just bought. <laughs> uh, jo yeah, Joe's been at uh, the, is it National Marine Aquarium? Yeah. National Marine Aquarium, oh that like. So we're just gonna go and uh, pick her up now and then hopefully get food. Please want food, Joe. Uh, I'm so hungry. Later. And just like that, we are back home. I think what I'm gonna do now to show you guys what I bought is uh, I'm now gonna set the tripod up and go through a few of the things I got today. Just a little, you know, like, one of those little, like, haul videos. Uh, so, yeah. But this isn't just me, like, showing off saying, look what I bought. This is, basically, this is money I've worked hard for and I've earned. So, kind of, this is what I liked and wanted to treat myself to this week. So the first place I went was a shop called Foot Asylum. Never really heard of them before today, but they had some really nice shoes in there, as well as some really nice clothes. One of the items being this camouflage Adidas hoodie. I'm very happy with this. I like the look of it. I, I, yeah, like I said, I'm just really happy with it. At the same time, I was also able to pick up this camouflage Adidas cap. As you know, I'm really into my hats. I like to wear them, I like to collect them. So I thought just to have a nice new camo one to add to collection is something I'm quite happy about. So yeah, that was what I got at Foot Asylum. Let's move on to Super Dry. So throughout all my shopping this summer uh, and buying clothes, the one area I've kind of neglected in my wardrobe is t-shirts. So when I went to Super Dry, that was kind of my main aim. I was looking for t-shirts. First one I got was this plain white t-shirt just the blue super dry logo up here and then i thought if i'm gonna buy one t-shirt i want to buy a couple more so i got two that were exactly the same we have first of all the black super dry t-shirt that has the super dry logo just up here it is in black so it's hard to see we also have the khaki green super dry t-shirt also got a black logo there with the orange trademark i just feel like these are the colors that will best go with the clothes i currently have and i like the look of them so yeah, that was, I'm kind of happy with those, like I said, but I'm pretty much, I'm happy with everything I bought, so you might hear that a few times. Um, so that was what I got at Super Dry. Let's move on to Primark. One of the first things I picked up there was this London top. I think it looks really nice with the black torso and the uh, design on the sleeves. Have a look, it's kind of like a nun, uh, uh, black and white London sort of city design. I think that looks really cool, so I'm very happy with that. That was one of the first things I picked up while I was in Prima, so I'll carry on and show you what some of the other stuff was. Something I really like about Primark is that it's fairly cheap in there, so you can go in there and buy whole outfits without needing to spend a fucking ton of money, even though I usually do, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. So this is a navy jumper, one of those really thin ones that I kind of like. I thought this is really nice and, uh, uh, that word. And, uh, uh, to go along with this, I also bought some more ripped black skinny jeans. Anything, the ones I bought from Primark are the most comfortable pairs of jeans I've worn in a long time. Uh, and I just think they look kind of smart. So I was kind of happy to pick up another pair of these, purely because the other ones are already covered in cat fur and shit like that. So I would like to have options when it comes to my jeans. Another whole outfit I was able to get is a little bit different to what I usually wear, but I still think it looks kind of nice and I'm really happy with it. Is this grey jumper here. It's got a... Uh, got like a bit of a white t-shirt sewed in the bottom there so it looks like you've got a t-shirt underneath it even if you don't so you can have that option to wear one or not it's entirely up to you and then if we look at my bottom half 
We've got some nice, normal, stretch skinny blue jeans. I say normal meaning not ripped. Very nice, I think quite happy with these. Again, from Primark, very, very comfortable. Also, to kind of finish this outfit, I thought I'd get some new gray shoes to pair with it. You know, the gray jumper, the gray shoes, the blue jeans, I think it looks really smart. I'm quite happy with this. So yeah, if you guys, you know, I, I really, I really like that. I'm glad I was able to find a different kind of outfit that I am, that I really like in the same sort of shop, so yeah. So that was my little fashion show or clothes haul, if you want to call it that. I know I will in the title, uh, them views. So apparently we're meant to be getting some storm like winds today. I've heard it could be the tail end of a hurricane somewhere, but because of that, I wanted to come out and check on the residents of Bunnyville. How we doing guys? How we doing? Flips. You sick man, get out, get out. What are you doing? Hey, can't go out today, it's too cold. Yeah. You get blown away. Well, you might not. You're kind of heavy, but you know, you know. Oh, look at that bunny nose. Oh, oh, Benny Gibbs. Oh, suck it, suck it, Ben. See, <laughs> Mrs. Lennox. What? That's right. You're a star. I see in the background there, boy. Don't worry, Steve. They seem fine. They seem happy. So uh, yeah, I've closed them back in now, and uh, now hopefully they can go back to doing whatever it is bunnies do when no one's watching. Kitty bed, Primark bag, kitty bed, Primark bag. See guys, this is where I have to go out and shop so much and buy so many clothes, because without me, what bags would these poor defenseless animals have to curl up on and just completely ignore their beds? Do you see the point I'm making here? I'm providing these cats with beds. I'm not, uh, Pepsi's just weird. Oh, Jessie's running. Maggie, you need in. Jeff Bus, you know, boy. You just squeeze, hey, we again. Oh no, do they think I'm gonna feed them now? No, I'm not gonna feed you. Jeff Bus, what's the matter? Look, look, he's, he's sat by his bowl. Oh, I feel like a massive prick. I'm not feeding you, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Like, it's hard enough to get you to love me, and now you, now you feel like I'm just teasing you. I've, I've never said I would. I'm so sorry, Jess. Can I be forgiven? No. No, I can't. Oh. Get out! What? Why are you squeaking? You know, boy. I was about to say, I haven't seen Buddy yet today. You know. Why do you like I've caught you doing something? What were you doing? What were you licking, bud? Hmm? Why is he just staring at me? Look at those eyes. Oh, he wants me dead. This cat wants me dead. Yeah, bird. You can see it over there. You know, boy. You know. Yeah, see, we're all right, aren't we? We're all right. Right, shall I leave you to get back to licking whatever you were licking, yeah? Yeah, with they're, they're, them eyes, you look like you've been up to something. There you go, Steve. They are all fine, seem pretty happy. Um, so yeah, I think right now what I'm going to do... Sit down and watch some match of the day. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for today's vlog. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you didn't, feel free to leave a comment telling me what you didn't like and what you think I can do to improve in the future. Also, if this is one of the first times you've watched my videos, why not go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can keep watching them as and when I upload them. If you've been watching for a little while though, you know that I keep mentioning the Great South Run that my sister and her fiance will be taking part in. That is this Sunday, the 22nd of October. Uh, depending on when this video goes up, it may be a little bit too late to donate anymore. If it is, I'll remove those links from the description. If there's still time to donate, they will be there still down there. But to anyone who has either donated, shared the stories or anything like that, thank you. It means a lot to both my sister, her fiancé, me and both of our families. The money goes to two great causes. So if you have done any of that, thank you so much. I will see you guys in a few days for another one. But until then, just remember, you are the most important person in your life. So try to live with no regrets. Peace out. See you again.